people in the compound, over 1,300 people. By the way, um, some of those, many of them have been told by the Israeli army to leave their houses and move to a safe place. Of course, Gaza is unique in being a war with a fence around it, but they nonetheless came frightened, terrified, um, vulnerable to our center. Um, they were coming to what they thought was a neutral United Nations shelter, and then the rest is history, 40 people killed. And tell us about this school. A school for who? A school for and young after their children. defeat in July um, 2006, Lebanon has felt important to transmit the message that Israel is still a fighting force, still capable of terrorizing those who dare defy its word. Well before the conflict, we gave them the coordinates of all of our facilities in Gaza. The schools are clearly marked like any school anywhere in the world. has been that Israel doesn't want Gaza to develop and Israel doesn't want to resolve diplomatically the conflict. Twisted tales and history lately been convincing me Systematic land grabs and war street and misery 48, 56, 67, 73 Destruction in the name of Western democracy Holy land, that's the D that fuels this racist war machine While the Western press slams her on for acting so religiously Hypocrisy, that's what I see Occupation propped by bigotry Ignorance towards Arab lands that dictates the facts we see Twisted tales from history lately been convincing me Systematic land grabs and war street and misery The British mandate the Shah, the Hashemite monarchy Destruction in the name of Western democracy Philistine children spread all over the region The survivors of al Nakba uprooted and imprisoned Groves of ancient olive trees plowed over in a moment Refugees piling in to Lebanon and Jordan And Iraq who ain't forgot about the Amariya Massacre, the highways of death To summarize the last war Soldiers flying low In bushes, helicopters firing missiles And the soldiers surrendering in Basra Twisted tales from history lately been convincing me Systematic land grabs and wars creating misery Covert bombings aimed at Nasser Smallpox sold to Saddam Hussein Destruction in the name of Western democracy The modern feats of medicine ascribed to wealthy British men Were the works of their doctors and Persian mathematicians Algebra, the one, two, threes, math, science and astronomy Education as the basis it's of the democracy whole world on one side, Israel, the United States and Australia on the other side We have all 22 members of the Arab League favoring the two-state settlement on the June 1967 border We have the Palestinian Authority favoring that two-state settlement on the June 1967 border We now have Hamas favoring that two-state settlement on the June 1967 border the one and only obstacle is Israel backed by the United States. That's the problem. And I don't care if you're a Muslim or a Jew. I care about what you do. You take my land, take my food. I'd fire rockets at you too. And that's not to say that I'd like to live that way. Nobody wants to see their people dying every day or having to bomb the border wall just to get medicine. Digging tunnels into Egypt to smuggle food and water and sewage spilling out into the blue shores of Palestine. Palestine, the culture, land, the people, the slow and brutal genocide. Holy land, that's the deed that fuels this racist war machine that justifies apartheid to benefit Israelis. Hypocrisy, that's what I see. Occupation propped by bigotry. Ignorance towards Islam that dictates the facts we see.